what's going on guys welcome to bitcast episode 13 it is february 7th 2020 last video we were looking at the bitcoin price and uh, it was hovering around nine three so it was right around this area and this chop right here um, and as you can see um, we flagged out of this little bullish consolidation pattern and moved up and you can see we've kind of done created these bullish patterns on the way up just taking the stairs up it's been super easy to trade I mean look at this these are all bullish continuation consolidation patterns you know once you have an impulse move up price starts to make higher lows and keeps knocking on this uh, resistance overhead eventually it broke through and then it flag patterned down here and uh, eventually broke up flag pattern again eventually broke up so it's literally just been taking the steps up I mean every dip is getting bought up nothing has changed um, we have broken a major level um, the last video I did we were fighting this major resistance right here as you can see Bitcoin is it's been a major level see how price bounced off it all these times and then we finally broke through it and then we came up tested it got shot down and we came up tested it again and this was a major level for us to get ahead and we just recently blew past it this week um, and price is knocking on that 10,000 door um, that 10,000 level which is like right here which is even arguably even a bigger level um, that 9.6 was a big level it was more the low side of these dips whereas 10k is more of like a psychological you know rounded number halfway to 20k which is like the all-time high so it's it's a major level um, I think we're for sure gonna tap at least 10k in the next you know could be today could be next week I think it's gonna be sometime this month um, let's just look at the monthly chart as you can see February is already up 5.2 percent January was 30 percent so Bitcoin's up about 35 36 percent on the year just steady climbing ever since we broke out of this range you know we had to run up from the bottom we had a nice correction and now we're making our way back up and on the monthly chart we can see we broke above that November level that we were talking about right here broke above it came down retested it as support and now we're on the climb that's exactly what you want to see you want to see support levels once they get broken or when resistance levels once they get broken you want to see them get tested as support and then if price reacts favorably to the upside then you can be confident or more confident about taking a long trade so February is looking good first week down three more to go um, we broke this level right here broke this monthly level right here like I said that next level I mean that 10 to 10k to like 10 4k is major level basically if we get above this if we get above that 10 7 we're for sure gonna be testing that that 13 9 14 K in my opinion all in all in due time uh, but dips are for buying that's that's my strategy right now the trend has shifted it's no longer you know making lower highs and lower lows we're actually making higher lows and higher highs and that's what you want to see in the trend that means the trend is positive instead of negative so the trend has changed 
I don't know how much longer price is going to be below 10k. You know, price may it might blow past. You know, a theory of mine is like maybe. You know, I think this is probably going to be a, the the way that the dips are getting bought up and the, the staircase upwards, and it's not like a, a heavy rise like right in here. I think it's it seems to be more of a, a solid, just steady buying since the new year started. I mean, it's just literally just been taking the stairs up, consolidate a little bit, and then we go up. We consolidate a little bit, and then we go up, which is really good. It's really healthy price movement. You know, you don't want to see it go up 30% and then correct, you know, 20 and then, you know, chop around and then, you know, continue to do that. You know, I mean, I guess that's all right for swing traders, but um, when you see it just take the steps up like that, it's just a, it's a more healthy rise in price. You want to see that, you know, it means it's probably going to be a more sustainable um, price movements and isn't, isn't just going to fall off a cliff. Um, so that's really good to see. I'm, I'm encouraged to see that. Um, we're looking at the, the daily Ichi Cloud, and as you can see, it's flipped bullish right here. The Tankin is flying high. The Kijun is moving up. As soon as this Kijun gets above the cloud, that's going to be everything is going to be bullish on this chart. If we look at the three day chart, we just broke above the cloud on the three day chart. Um, it's looking like the tanking is about to move up and cross over the Kijun, which is a bullish Kijun cross. Um, if we look at the weekly, this cloud just blows me away. If we look at the weekly, you can see we came down. As soon as we hit this wall, price just skyrocketed up. It's crazy. It, I mean, you look at how far ahead the, the cloud projects. Price just literally moved up this wall and if you see the top of the cloud it's right around that 10 10 to 70 to 10 4 ish area that level I was talking about major resistance there so you know I could see us going up blowing past this maybe even hitting that 10 7 having like a blow off top and, and maybe like correcting down to this 8 9 you know if you're if you're sitting in cash like waiting for a dip opportunity you know, you don't want to buy in all these green candles, which is understandable. Um, you want to wait for a, a pullback because it does pull back. You know, it doesn't just go up forever. You know, I would be waiting for what happens when price taps this 10.3 area, this 10K, 10.3 area. See how price reacts to it. Um, I'm assuming it's probably going to get, you know, sold off right away. And maybe we'll see like the bottom of this cloud here around that, that 9K area. You know, but if you're worried about if you don't have any position or if you you know you need some exposure, I would definitely make sure you know this isn't financial advice or anything, but I am making sure that my cost basis is below 10k. And as you can see, we're knocking on that door right now. So, um, so I'll talk a little bit about the Aon trade I was in. Altcoins have been popping off. I'm I'm also in an ETH trade. Let's actually. Yeah, we'll go to Aeon because I talked about it in the last video. It actually had a blow off top. It had a, a major pump, which was awesome. We saw that all that volume. Remember all this volume and just shot the price up. And uh, it didn't quite get to my, my first take profit level. But I, I'm still confident, and here's why. If we're looking at the daily chart, this looks pretty bearish, right? I mean, it... I mean, not necessarily bearish. I shouldn't say that. We broke out of this long downtrend and price is up considerably still, even after this little correction here from the top. And it's below this level right here, which I think is an important level around that 13,000 sats. But if we zoom out on the monthly, remember, the farther you zoom out, the levels are more important. And if we actually look at some of these levels here, you can see that we're still sitting really nice. If I get rid of this line here. Get rid of this one here. And I'll get rid of this. Since I'm not using that. If we see the price is still this right here is the whole bottom area. Call it a fractal, call it whatever the hell you want. But below this area was the range that price was stuck below before it shot up here. 
as long as this monthly stays above what is that that 12 12 or 1169 1160 area sats I'm still pretty confident that this is gonna reach these levels in the near future this is a swing trade you know if I would have just bought and sold my stack right here it would have been a great profit in a short amount of time but you know I'm in no rush so I'm gonna let it ride if it if price gets closes below here on the monthly then I'd be worried I'd probably close my position um, or you know my stop loss would probably get hit before it gets down there so um, I'm not panicking um, I think a lot of these these big pumps that alts have seen the past week are just their initial pumps you know and a lot of them got sold off a lot of people are underwater on these alts so as soon as they pump they sell early so it's it's not surprising to me to see a wick like this um, but you just gotta stay strong and um, you know some I I talk about alts you know get rid of them as fast as you can but like you know it's the beginning of an alt season so I'm, I'm willing to wait and, and let this breathe a little bit so that's my play on Aeon. I'll take a look at ETH really fast. ETH has been climbing. It's one of my most bullish uh, altcoins right now. I think we're going to see that 270, 288. I think we're going to see the top of this range sometime soon. But... Really, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, let me know what you guys think. February is uh, off to a hot start. We're up 5%. January was up 30%. 2020 is banging still. I'm excited. Hit me up, guys. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out.